the smallest member of the carnivore family out here in terms of mammals. We've got a lazy group of dwarf mongoose. That being said, it's not really so much laziness as the fact that they're cold. And even on a day like today, where the temperatures have are definitely a massive improvement on some of the chilly mornings that we've experienced, they're still a little bit reluctant to head out and about and in fact enjoy this first hour, sort of between half past eight and half past nine, to do exactly what one is doing, which is stretch out, have a good stretch of the muscles and sunbathe for a little bit. So it gives them an opportunity to just aloe groom for a tad, reinforce the bonding that is so essential to the survival of a dwarf mongoose family. They're absolutely fascinating little animals. There's always something happening, something going on. And the nice thing is getting to know the different family groups around here and just how used to people they are. This group, for example, is somewhere in between. We've got some dwarf mongoose that will come right up to the car and are not bothered by our presence in the slightest. Some that disappear the moment you come around the corner. And then this group, which is comfortable enough with the distance that I'm at, which is probably about 30 or so feet, without us being able to come any closer. But they do have a natural curiosity, which means that even with the most skittish of dwarf mongoose groups, you spend enough time with them, and you sit quietly and you don't make any sudden movements, and get them coming right up to the wheels of your vehicle to investigate the smells, and sometimes even have a, a sort of a curious nibble around the tire itself. Kind of like our hyena cubs in a way. It's a nice moment while we sit and watch them to just listen to the bird life around us and so listen for any alarm calls. Oh, that wasn't a very graceful descent at all. 